What's going on, fellas? This is my defensive sub tips for the 3 4 even. New meta, new meta. You know what I'm saying? This the new D, man. You know what I'm saying? This the D I've been running. I created the D. You know what I'm saying? Just remember that. Because everybody's starting to try to hop on the train. Nah, but look, though. I'm going to try to be quick with it. I'm going to show you how we doing these, uh, how we do the depth chart real quick so y'all know. Because it's a package in here we use that's specifically made for bunch. Which this package is in a lot of formations. Well, not a lot, but a good bit of them. You know, I'll show you. It's a safety package. So, look, all three linebackers are going to start. So, we got Sean Lee, uh, Smith, and Van Der Esch. Okay. So, look, who's ever on... The right side linebacker, I think the right side, no, no, no. The left side linebacker is the one that's going to be coming. So you want your fastest one. All right, so we're going to put Jalen at the left, you know. And then I like Van Der Esch in the middle because you get the user him, you know what I'm saying, with the unfakeable, you know what I'm saying, got to be smart, strategic. Then at your backup safety, you want your fast dude coming off the end. So, like, let's say when you're playing regs, you can go Anthony Brown because – Anthony Brown is going to be at linebacker. That's right. Breaking news. Anthony Brown is going to be at linebacker. Then, you know, if you're playing, you know, you got to have Chris Westry coming out there in backup. So, it's your two safeties, this is how you got to have it. You know, your fastest guy who you want the linebacker at starting strong safety. Then, your other one at Westry. You know, or you can, I found out another way. You can really just have Westry right there so he'll be in all your formations and then have Brown in the backup, and I'll show you how to do that. All right? So, Let's move on quick. We're going to go to 3-4 even, and we're going to go safety package. It says, you see 54, Jalen Smith went to the outside linebacker on the right. 39, it's Chris Westry, but what we're going to do, we're going to sub in Chris Westry right here. So now, Anthony Brown is going to be there. See what I'm saying? Now you see 30 there. Anthony Brown is there. He said, well, yeah, that's cute. That's cute. Yeah, that is cute. All right, so then... We're going to run outside linebacker strike. This is just for the run right now. You know what I'm saying? And it's really hard to lab against run D because people run stick is different. But this is the run D that I run. I don't base a line. You know what I'm saying? And so that's it right there. That's the run D. All right? And most of the time I slide my line to the left. All right? And you can flip it. Sometimes I, uh, it could be better flipped. And slid to the left because it all depends on what side they're coming to. All right, so then you play on this guy and, and you contain. All right, so then you kind of want to not be like right here because you can get grabbed, you know what I'm saying? You know, the closer you are, the quicker you are to get mugged, you know what I'm saying? So I always kind of take like a step back so I can shoot through the gap. And as you see, Vander Esch is over there on the right, so I need to swap Vander Esch with Lee, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, as you see, I got Anthony Brown right there, like I told you, and Jalen Smith right here so and so that's just a regular stretch and then you're gonna try to back up and then you know you just basically try to flow with them and make it a muck you know what i'm saying plain and simple like that you feel me now that's the run d that i've been running it ain't the best run d in the world but it is it's not like you can come through and shoot them up and blow them and blow them up in the backfield you know what i'm saying like uh and so you always want, want these dudes on the outside, you know what I'm saying? Yes, there is some better run Ds that you can pull out when it gets heavy, but I try to stay in one D the whole game to 3-4 even, okay? And then you can make your adjustments. Now, as you see, this is what I wanted to show you with the safety package. Now, with the safety package, this is why, you know, it's, it's real big when uh, – reason why I run it first off because of the heat you know the I'm not really running it because of run D you know what I'm saying but that's the run D I run it's solid you know it ain't it ain't that great but it's solid you know so let's say you running first a bunch everybody like to run bunch you know what I'm saying you know I'm gonna pick this right here pinch buck zero all right pick pinch buck zero and from pinch buck zero I'm gonna automatically blitz all my linebackers see just like that and then I'm going to press. And see, sometimes they don't line up line up in the hole. So then I had to back him up and then press again. And there, now he's in there. Then I'm going to contain. All right, now you see it's a spot right over this over the center. That's why I'm going to stand there and I'm going to hold left trigger. Okay? That's the basic of the D. Now, 
from here, you're going to make your adjustments. You can go cloud flat, I mean short squat, cloud flat, and then put the other safety in the middle, all off your quick adjustments. Short squats are going to turn into man as long as that running back does not come out in a flat. If that running back does not come out in a flat, that short squat is going to turn to the man, so you, you're good. You don't have to worry about that. The cloud flat is going to do what it do over there, you know what I'm saying? And that safety, he ain't going to have no time for anything else anyway, all right? Now, they might max protect on you. Cool. But now, this is really another reason why I run it. Because now, as you see, A, I could put him in an outside third. That's an outside third. That's not cover two. This is cover two. See that? See the difference? Cover two, look where the cloud is. I mean, look where the blue is. And then you see the difference between outside third. So you can basically make an outside third so you don't have to get beat by the wheel. You know what I'm saying? So let's say if we were just running regular cover two. Because you obviously want to start mixing in some good good zone coverage in and then bluff blitz. So that's what I just did. I set it up like it's a D, like I'm screaming. Because obviously he thinking, I mean, I am screaming, you know. And what I would do is put him in a short squat or put him in a, in a uh, four or uh, an outside third. You know what I'm saying? And then I will put um, my dude over there for, for that right there. So he's going to block a lot of people because he thinks the heat coming. And I'm going to show you all the difference real quick, you know what I'm saying, when you run just regular D, you know what I'm saying. Obviously, you know, when you're uh, – let me, let me move the ball real quick so you can see. Respot the ball. Okay, so look. I know y'all got killed by the vertical and stuff like that. So this is this is the reason why I run that package because it changes the, the adjustments. All right, so like I said, we can, you know, set the D up, then we're going to reset it to cover two. Now, this is cover two right here. Now, as you see, he's in a deep blue. Now, watch. You know, the basic bunch play, they, they send A on the street, and then, you know, they're going to motion – Old buddy out. And you're going to get cooked. You're going to get cooked, and he's open. Hot one. That's what you do not want. But that's it. And cover two will never guard it. So this is what the adjustments, how out of the bunch. I mean, out of, uh, so I'm doing the same thing now. Now I'm going to put him in an outside third. See the difference? Cover two outside third. Now we're going to run the same thing. See, same play. Now watch. He's there. See what I'm saying? So you don't have to worry about that wheel ride anymore. And that's only because you got the package, you're able to do those adjustments. Now, when you get real freaky with it, man, like, you know, like sometimes, man, and like you can put, you can put this linebacker and an outside third to the right where he's cutting all the way over there. And then you could do this linebacker with outside third to the left where he's running like some funky stuff. You know what I'm saying? You could do all that type of stuff and then put him in a squad. And, and, you know, and then you scream in and you mixing it up. And then you hopping back over the middle. And see, with them crossing, it's going to be causing a bunch of headache. You know what I'm saying? They'll be like, well, what's going on? You know what I'm saying? Because they be looking for stuff, you know. It, that's just how you can mix the D up, you know. You got I get wild with it because at the end of the day, you never know what somebody doing. But regardless, I'm trying to send some heat. And if I send coverage, you know, I let my forward pressure down lineman. Now, the only problem is when you mug the gap like this, it don't matter whether you're in big dime or whatever, 3-4. You got a chance to get exposed on the run. You know what I'm saying? And what I like to do when I kind of feel like I – you know how sometimes you just get a sense like, man, they about to run the ball. You get a sense they about to run the ball, pull this line back out the gap, the opposite side of the running back. That's all you got to do. You know what I'm saying? You can still come stand here, pull him outside. Let's say we're going to audible to the base, you know what I'm saying? And see, at the end of the day, let's see what control is this. All right. And then he'll come through, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, most of the time that dude's supposed to come off the edge, but it's not promised, you know what I'm saying? But... That's my D, man. That's the three, four, even. You know what I'm saying? And I, I mix in a lot of my base Ds. Like, I, I'll mix in this right here to cover three. As you see, I'll, I'll pull that. I'll, I like to fake the blitz and then pull him in right here. And then I cloud flat, you know. And if I have time, 
you know, I try to I try to bring them together to make it look like, oh, we still blitzing. But on when I run cover three, I don't I don't play on him. I play on one of the linebackers and just stand still. Unless they got identified, they did. Look, ain't no more games been played offline, so they got to pay that team cap for identifier. Otherwise, sit still. They ain't going to know where you at. You know what I'm saying? Be a creep. That's right. You know what I'm saying? So play on your linebacker. Sit still. You know, I crash my line out. So if we get some more pressure, you know, and then they're going to start blocking people because most of the time people think, oh, man, he's sending the heat. And if you put it in their mind, you're sending the heat, guess what? You know, that'll happen. And so, uh, like I said, that's um, that, that's basically the past these. You know, real simple. You're going to make all your adjustments out of it. Um, and so that's that's how that works, man. So hope y'all enjoyed the sub tips on my 3 4 even. You know what I'm saying? I'll come back later with uh, sub tips on that uh, nickel 335 normal, man. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate the love and support.